man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the teeth. It's Gary, baby. All right, Rick's about the morning show. Hey, the time right now is 11 minutes after the hour. Y'all, the segment is being brought to you by Urban One. No election or issue is too small if it impacts our community. So don't sit on the sidelines this year. Be empowered and get involved. Log on to newsone.com slash vote and register to vote. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news. I remember on yesterday, we talked about Pastor John Gray and all that was going on with him and his wife with the alleged cheating. Well, now his attorneys, y'all, are claiming y'all that he is a victim of an extortion plot. Now, they're saying, as previously reported, y'all, a woman known as Mary exposed Pastor Gray by sending screenshots of their text messages and private FaceTime chats to some woman named Tasha K. Now, they said, according to the Urban Daily, attorney Devon Purifoy and Kimberly Thompson said in a statement, there are allegations that there were phone conversations between the two parties, and that's essentially the extent of the allegation. Now, they also said, yeah, when you take her own words, she says there was no affair, no physical contact. They never met each other. She said they never even saw each other, so he was extorted. But he still sat there and told his woman all kinds of stuff about his wife and said how she was lazy, how she fed the son pizza and all that other stuff and what have you. But that was an extortion, <laughs> though. Okay. Mm. Right, Pastor. We'll see how yeah, that turns out. Why is she on the phone with him if she know he married? Yeah, and why he on the phone too? with her when he know he married? I said it well, all too. So, mm -mm. No, Ricky. But she did that just where she could try to get some pictures and, yeah. and stuff, man. Yeah, but men got to get a little bit smart, especially if you're a man of the cloth. You got a little bit, right. little bit You're more absolutely smarter. right. You know, when I come on, Pastor. So, mm -mm. but anyway, we're going to see and follow this story. Hopefully, all goes well and they stay together like they did after the first scam. All right, oh, moving on. God. <laughs> In other celebrity news, y'all, it's a very sad day, y'all. For Real Housewives of Atlanta, OG Nene Lee, y'all, she's been venting about the mistreatment, y'all, that she's been receiving throughout the season 13 contract negotiation. Now, they're saying, y'all, that Nene is accusing her castmates, y'all, of not having her back, y'all. Now, over the weekend, they say she tweeted about how she has been, she's taken abuse, y'all, for the benefit of the entire cast for years, but not received the same support. She said, quote, I have protected everyone for years and covered up things she said I shouldn't have. She said, I took the beating so others didn't have to and no one ever protected me or stood up for me. Y'all have gone silent and turned the other cheek. She said, you are not exempted from getting the same treatment one day. So, so, so Eva, you, you was on the housewife. How does all of that stuff work? Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? With the auntie, Ricky. Ricky. It's one of those things where, you know, your mama say you plant seeds. And after you plant seeds, you're going to get some roots from those seeds. And so, Nene, who I, even Marcel Sterling will say, is the HBIC and the epicenter of Housewives of Atlanta, she set the tone for what the show was when she helped create the show. So to now, 12 years later, after the show is super successful, and to be irritated with the tone that you set is kind of, you know, a little bit bizarre. That's how oh. that's how Nene gets down. And Nene set the tone for Housewives of Atlanta. And so did the other leaders of their franchises, which is why they're a little bit different. But you can't get mad because you set this up. This is the fruit from the tree you planted. Yeah. Oh, that's my piece. They said Nene, honey, have no talent, honey, and still manage to become a millionaire. They say let it go She's, and start She does new. have talent. Oh, well, I'm just telling you what the listeners say. Nene is a great host. She's a great performer. Uh, yeah. yeah, she got talent. She got skills. Shoot. I mean, talent is when you can come from where you come from and be where you are and wow. become successful and have right. your own stores, your own businesses. All this stuff. So I, I'm, she I actually, hosted a, a stand-up, Ricky, which you know is not particularly easy. And she did it with Lonnie Love and Sherry Shepard. And she hosted right. it for a couple of years. Does a really good job. So Nene got some talent. Don't do that, Gary. No, I'm just telling you what the listeners said. They said the store oh. was closed in Sugarloaf, so I don't know. Oh, okay. But anyway, <laughs> just mess this up. Go on to the next one. Moving on. Another celebrity right. news, y'all. Um, <laughs> last year, y'all, NBA player Lamar Odom, y'all, he proposed to his beautiful girlfriend, Sabrina Parway. Now it's being announced that they will be getting married. 
They announced y'all today to save the day, honey, and post it on Instagram. They will be getting married, honey, 11 11 21, y'all, in Miami. So congratulations goes out to Lamar Odom. He got Those your friends. You hang out with them. Yeah, and, and they're real sweet people, and I love Lamar and Sabrina. So congratulations to him. He finally found the right woman because Chloe wasn't the right one for him. Sabrina is, and she keep him in check. And that's sometimes what you men need, a nice woman to keep you in check, honey, and, and make sure things go right and stuff and keep you, you know, from doing things that you used to do. So congratulations oh. to them. Yeah, they're great couple. Yeah, he, she got him laser hair removal. Yeah, he got his laser hair removal. Yeah, she said. he Nobody moved all of his um, hair downtown. Yeah, so she put oh, it on. Oh, you can get that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, women get it all the time, but Lamar Odom was online last week now showing you, Sabrina encouraging him getting a laser hair removal. Man, that's crazy. Now you sit up there in the shower looking like a Ken doll. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> well, y'all be the man with about this. What are them skinless cats? The color of the day, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color of the day is windmill wings. On the high end, you say windmill wings. And on the low, you say beautiful light blue. That's your color for the day. So. <laughs> y'all give it up for Gary with the team. <laughs> The phone lines are wide open. I got your wake up calls. Call me right now. 866 9 Ricky. 866 9 R I C K E Y. Call me. Rick's on the morning show.